Hi everyone, welcome to Anna's Nail Advice, a series where you guys send me pictures of your nails and I look at the pictures and I try to uh, give you advice on how to take care of them and, them and make you understand what's happening with your nails and why they're usually damaged. Yes. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at Kathy's nails. And today is Kathy's birthday. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kathy. Happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. So this is Kathy's email to us. Before we start that, a disclaimer. Please know that my expertise is nail care, nail cosmetic treatments, and technical manicuring advice. General health, hormones, digestion, obviously, have a big impact on health and appearance of the nails. And I'm not talking about this much because I'm not qualified to provide health-related advice. So I can't diagnose any deficiencies and suggest any supplements, treatments, and medication, and etc. I'm also asking you guys, please do not suggest any deficiencies or health issues in the comment section. This is not for us to diagnose, and thankfully, many, many issues are not serious and can be traced to improper nail care, so it can be uh, corrected. Usually aggressive manicuring techniques or mechanical damage. That I can talk about because this is my area of expertise. All right, Kathy's message is, I discovered, and the message is a little long, but it's very interesting, so I'm gonna read it all. I discovered your channel about a month ago and I'm grateful for it. Since I'm old enough to be your mom, I'm sure you can imagine the evolution of nail care I've experienced over the last 50 years. In the beginning, you were either blessed with natural nails or you weren't. Those of us who suffered to get our nails to grow even an eighth of an inch were mostly disappointed. Then, as if a miracle happened, acrylic nails appeared and if we could afford them, we heard to have them beautifully manicured. I started wearing them when I was in my late twenties and I continued until I was 50 and decided I wanted freedom from the required maintenance. So my paper thin nails rusted and although not pretty, I kept them unadorned for another several years. After that, I got the silk wraps for probably 10 years and then I went back to getting just plain manicure. During the C word, I started using those nail polish stickers and then onto short false nails, which looked great. But as I reattached them, I realized that the glue was not doing my nails any favors. So here I am trying to fix the damage. My nails are thin and bendy. Sorry, my nails are thin and bend easily. They split vertically and down into my nail bed. They also peel as soon as they grow beyond the quick. So I keep making them shorter and shorter, hoping that they will eventually stop splitting. They showed ridges when I wore the stick on polish, so I buffed them smooth and shiny. Not a good idea. I learned from you that it was not a good thing. So Anna, help me please. I need a protocol to follow. I have begun oiling them with jojoba oil, pushing the skin back and using the Blue Cross cuticle remover with a glass pusher. I'm using a glass emery file and then applying SE Hard to Resist Glow and Shine Polish. What I really need is NS Natural Manicures for Dummies. Great idea. But until you publish it, maybe you can help me. Okay. So unfortunately, um, I don't know when you removed the, the stick on nails. So we don't know really what's going on. But let's look at the pictures. Okay, so here we go. By the way, thank you so much for sending these amazing pictures. They are very good quality, so I can really see what's going on other than, um, I'm such a pain. When you're taking pictures, it's good to have a line of light right here. Okay, so the light, when it's bouncing off the nail, it, it allows me to see the surface, just like these two are pretty good. All right, so it looks like the pinky is pretty healthy because you can see the, the very, natural texture. So, you know, people say that ridges are normal. Yeah, they are, but usually it's not, this is not really ridges. This is a little bit of texture. There is some here concerning a little bit, free edge separation, so a bit of an onycholysis, which can be due to damage. This usually happens due to damage. 
And these two nails, I can't really see, but I am guessing from here, they look a little bit dam well, quite damaged, I have to say. You see the, the variation in color here? And the red little patches and the ir irregular free edge here. So that looks uh, quite thin. Here, this area looks pretty, um, pretty thin, although this looks pretty good. So I'm not sure if maybe you kind of filed like this. Let's look at the other nails. All right, so what do we have here? You see, this looks from here to me, yeah. You see, this is nice and shiny. It's just like this. And this looks really, really thin. Same thing with this nail from here. So I had someone just recently on Instagram ask me, um, she had kind of a similar issue. She was asking if the Rescue RX helps or if I like it. And I said, yeah, I do like it, especially for surface damage. Um, not really to harden the nails, but for surface damage, definitely. And so what happened is she asked, the, uh, she said that she had some surface damage and she's been taking biotin and and to try to rebuild the nails. That was That was how she said it. She's taking biotin and I think doing the oil soaks to rebuild her nails. So the thing is that many times people forget is, or they don't know about it, is that you cannot rebuild the nails. So we have approximately between 50 to 100 keratin layers of the nails. And once we file the nails or we overbuff them or when we pry off uh, product from the nails or even chip nail polish, it's really bad for your nails. Um, even those peel peel on stickers, when we um, peel them off, it comes off very often with a layer of the nail. So when you do that often, the multiple layers of the nails will be gone. And for the nail to start looking better, it has to regrow, just like hair. For example, if the ends were really, really damaged, they're not gonna grab color really well, right? Because the cuticle is very open and the color is not going to stay. But there was no way of us actually physically repairing this nail. We may be able to make the hair look better, feel better, but it's not going to be possible to fix what's damaged because the hair is dead and the nails are dead. So in order to for the um, supplementation even work, if, if you are deficient, let's say in biotin and you start taking biotin, you're going to see the improvement in the new growth, not in the old growth, right? So the ends are not going to look better just because you started taking biotin. It's the same thing with nails. So once you start taking biotin, the nail is actually being made here in this area. So this is the root of the nail. Actually the lunula is part of the, the root of the nail. And um, you're going to start seeing a new growth over here. But nails grow very, very slow. So they grow about, like in two weeks, they'll grow like this much. So this is a month worth of growth. Two, three, four, five. So let's say, again, one, two, three, four. So whatever you're doing now, like you're doing the hot oil soaks, you're doing... Um, trying to protect the nails, you're not going to see the results of your efforts until four months later. And many times people just give up and they think that what they're doing is not working. Meanwhile, it is working. It's just taking time for the nail to grow out. So all these treatments that we're talking about, the hot oil treatments, um, they, they help the nails to not get even worse. They are protecting what you already what you have, but they're not going to rebuild anything, unfortunately, unfortunately. And I kind of, it pains me to say that it's just going to take time for these nails to, to start feeling better. So don't give up. What I would do, yes, I would keep them nice and short. Um, like for example, this one a little bit shorter and I see this is peeling. Yes, because, or cracking because the nail plate is very, very thin. The first layers of the nails are the most dense and they help, it's almost like a shell, and they help the, the, the nail to stay nice and healthy. They, they uh, protect the nail. So once those layers are removed, the bottom layers are a little bit more spongy and they, they absorb, first of all, like even pigments more, so they stain much worse. 
and they absorb water uh, very quickly, but they also lose water very quickly. So what oil does, the oil helps to balance that movement of water and oil. And it helps to protect the nails from, from water when, uh, when you do that. And the hot oil soaks or warm oil, oil soaks um, are good because they push the oil a little bit deeper into the layers. And then once the oil is a little bit deeper, you don't wash it off as, as easily. So they will protect definitely the nails a little bit. So I would suggest, I mean, hmm, if you, you, if you are in the U S I, I know people often, you know, get frustrated with me because I talk about dazzle dry so much, but in order, I know because when I took gel polish off my nails, I, I, my nails were, they were not that damaged, but they kind of felt sensitive. So what I did, I wore the base coat and top coat. And not for the look, but for how it, my nails felt, because it really made my nail, nails feel a little bit better. The reason why I don't suggest any color is because it's just sometimes not going to last. And if you just have a clear coat and something chips, it's not going to drive you crazy. Um, I had one of the viewers mention that she was using one of the sheer colors because her nails were very ridgy and damaged. I actually don't suggest using sheer colors, like semi-sheer, because they tend to believe it or not, make the nails look worse because they almost, the color, the pigment flows into the damaged areas, making the damage even more pronounced. So I suggest just doing clear coat, clear coat. So even like, if you really want nice, shiny, clear nails, then I would do two base coats and two top coats without really any color and, or just doing one base coat and one top coat. Just again, it's going to chip. You're not doing this for the look, but you're doing this for the feel, just so the nails feel a little bit better. And the reason why I suggest Dazzle Dry, because I, from my experience, definitely find that line to be the most gentle on the nails. Here, these nails, I would keep them a little bit shorter. And I know, yes, it's difficult because they are already quite short, but by the way, like you have such a nice shape. And you have very young looking fingers. I know this doesn't make a lot of sense, but I would guess you're in your twenties or something, honestly. Like the, the nails are, and the fingers are beautiful. Yeah, a little bit of dry skin, but you know, like I asked, I usually people, I ask people to, to wipe the nails with acetone or, or pure alcohol, just so I can see the, the, the texture of the nails. Okay, I keep talking, I'm really sorry. Okay, let's look at the thumbs. Yeah, the thumbs, usually thumbs are, first of all, uh, a little bit thicker and they tend to be, I guess, because we use our hands, maybe our thumbs a little bit more drier and just more damaged. And yes, I see um, there's a bit of a, a ridge here, so, but I see damage here. So you see here, so I think this is happening because of this damage. I think once this grows out, um, it's going to be much better. Okay, so what would I suggest? Keeping the nails short, the, sh the shape is actually very, very good for the for for the strength of the nails. The shape is very good. Um, definitely the warm oil soaks once a week. Um, if you have red light, some people have red light, no? You can actually, be, I started doing that because I have a red light for IBX treatment. So you can put the polish, sorry, you can put the oil on your nails and just put a the red lamp the infrared lamp on your nails because that way the product, the, the um, oil is going to soak into the nails a little bit better. So definitely once a week, the, um, the worm oil treatments. Jojoba is really good. Grapeseed oil is really good and whatever you have. I don't, coconut oil is not the best. Castor oil is not the best for this function. Other, other than the penetration is very good to kind of keep everything nice and moisturized, but the, we want the product to penetrate the nail plate, so we want the molecules to be small enough for the oil to penetrate. You can also use, um, after the treatment, you can also add Vaseline to the skin. It's very nice and gentle on the skin, and it's nice and protective. Uh, another thing that I would suggest is, like I said, the Dazzle Dry if you want to. And also, the I've... I've been seeing really good results from one of our viewers with the carousel mm, nail repair treatment. 
So it's like like a like a liquid that you just apply it over nails, and she is seeing a really really nice. I'm gonna do um, a video about her nails because now she sent me a, a, a progress picture, and there was definitely uh, progress, and you can see that the new growth, especially, is growing out really nice and really nice and bright, and there was definitely the difference in the quality of the nail. So I would definitely suggest if you wanted to try, it's like a watery kind of a treatment to to um, to, that you put on the nails. I would not suggest any hardeners or anything like that because your issue is not due to naturally very bendy nails, it's due to damage. And what happens with hardeners is that they make the nails even drier, believe it or not. So hardeners are very good for like moist nails. Um, nails that are very flexible, that are very shiny, moist. We all hear, hate that word. Um, so yes hardeners would not be a good idea for for you um i don't think unless the nails grow out and they are very shiny and very flexible and very very bendy then maybe but i i really don't think so i don't think that's the issue and i don't think they would would help the sc hard to resist product has a moisturizer has some type of urea that's actually a moisturizer. I don't know if it works or not. I haven't seen a difference on my nails because my nails are, I'm blessed with very good nails. Uh, well, I take care of them too, but <laughs> I am still blessed. Anyway, so I wouldn't uh, suggest any hardeners. And you know what, that's about it, I think. So I hope this video is helpful. I, I'm really sorry I can't give you, you know, kind of a, a better maybe news other than you're going to have to wait a little bit for the nails to improve and just have patience and be gentle with them. Yeah, and urea-based cream for the skin around the nails, definitely. I suggest um, also, as always, a dab of oil after each time you wash your hands, that really helps. Um, always remember when you are rinsing off the cuticle remover that you rinse it off very well and then you don't leave it on the skin for too long because if it's left on the skin too long or on the nail too long it can actually um, be irritating to the skin and kind of damaging to the nail so because they're very very alkaline and our hands and uh, skin on our hands is a little bit more acidic so this is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for sending me all these pictures and I'm really sorry for not being able to do the videos a little bit more often. It's a busy season right now. It's a pedicure season. I'm doing my best. So please have patience, but I will definitely try to get to as many of the videos and the pictures that I can. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye. It, <laughs> okay. Let's flip the glasses up. Get rid of that visual distraction. Very good. No, I can't see the camera. That's all right. You don't have to see the camera. No, but I'm going to read. So actually, I need my glasses. I changed my mind. I see. No. Very good. Up. Okay. Well, in that case, do remember to keep your glasses up. Hmm. Right. So where's the camera? Right there. Where the green dot is? Roughly. Okay. We're good? I prefer the camera on the other direction. Right, right <sighs> My nose now is red. Looks like I've been doing cocaine. Damn it. They will know the secret to our success.